Welcome back. The Free Press Marathon is an annual tradition for many lacing up their shoes for the cause. That's right. And this year, no different. And here to tell us all about why they're running is Stephen Neer from the Kirk Gibson Foundation. We're so glad to have you back with us. So for folks who are not familiar, tell us a little bit more about the foundation. Yeah, Kirk set the foundation up in 2015 and, and the purpose of it uh, now is to provide care and help for people that are living with the disease. So there's a lot of resources being directed towards finding a cure, but the real gap that we see is helping people live with a disease that wants to really shut down the body and, and, and all the mental problems that come with this kind of disease. It can be quite isolating and uh, there, there aren't many programs that are funded well that provide care for people that do with it. Programs such as you know, movement and exercise based programs that um, really help the body and really can improve the quality of life with someone with Parkinson's. So that's really become our objective now. And, and the free marathon is happening and tell us the importance about getting people to participate in that. Yeah, so we have a, over 70 runners now running for Team 23, which is absolutely phenomenal. And it's a big fundraising weekend for us, and uh, so all of those those runners are, are raising money for us as well. Um, but it also sends that signal around movement and exercise and how important that is. In fact, our team captain is a guy called Jamie Spitzer, mm -hmm. and th he's running his fourth marathon now. Um, and this time, he's going to push his dad, who has Parkinson's disease. Incredible. Dad called Ben. Yeah, and he's going to push him around around the marathon, which is just an amazing and highly inspirational, uh, um, you know, event for, for him. Yeah, sure and is. for folks who haven't been there even, you know, to cheer folks on uh, yeah. who are running, who are taking part, it is something just really, really special to see that kind of spirit and that camaraderie. So for you to say that you have 70 runners, that's quite impressive. Yeah, and, and um, you know, from my, my experience doing the marathon last year, you know, that, that um, interaction with the crowd, you know, the moments you have, like going over the Ambassador Bridge as the sun's coming up mm -hmm. and then coming back onto the American side and all the crowds that are there and, and, and the support you get from them. You know, I think everyone's, you know, our team has got a couple of purposes. One, one is they've got their own personal objective in trying to finish the race, whether it's a 5K or a half marathon or a full run marathon, but also this purpose of shining the light on Parkinson's disease and raising money for our foundations is pretty wonderful. Now you mentioned uh, one of the racers is going to be pushing a family member through the race. Uh, now there's a documentary about this as well. Tell us a little more about that. Yeah, so Jamin has been cataloging and filming his journey over the last four years. His first marathon was in 2020. He did that in LA because of it was the COVID, COVID year. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is his fourth one. And, and, and it's kind of the, the culmination of this four year sort of emotional journey he's been through with his dad. And he's, and, and he's going to produce a documentary out of that four-year journey. So uh, this, is, this is really an incredible moment for him. And, and then to, to, to take this on, to push his dad around the course, you know, that's just incredible. Yeah, what a bond yeah. they must yeah, have. Just yeah, just amazing. And so for folks who are inspired by this, how can they support the foundation? There are, there are a few ways. So um, the Tomb 23 runners are a part of the grassroots supporters of the organization that are helping out. And anybody can join Team 23. Go onto our website, the KirkGibsonFoundation.org, and you'll see the ways that you can help us, you know, directly accomplish our mission. The other way is money. And you can support one of the runners who are out there through the Give and Game platform or again through our foundation website. Or um, uh, uh, Jamin has his own website runforben.com and you can support him directly as well. Many ways to get involved. Steve, always a pleasure when you drop by. Yeah, great. Great to be here and thanks so much for having me on. Great to have you. Good luck this weekend. We'll, we'll be yeah. cheering for you from the sidelines. Yeah, That's thanks for very much. Sure. Right, thanks so it. much.